Bash. 13 Friends for Life, sponsored by Grapids Heating and Cooling, your home cooling experts. For the first time, a vaccine designed to prevent triple negative breast cancer is being studied in humans. About 15% of breast cancers are triple negative, which is the most aggressive form of breast cancer. The Cleveland Clinic doctors have now vaccinated the first study participants in this phase one clinical trial. The main goals are two. Uh, one, to determine the side effects and safety of the vaccine, and two, to determine whether it produces an immunologic response. Um, because this is a vaccine, we're depending on the body mounting an immune response, uh, and we'll be monitoring that immune response with blood tests. Up to 24 women will be enrolled in the study, which is funded by the Department of Defense. Participants will have been diagnosed with early stage triple negative breast cancer within the last three years and are tumor free but at risk for reoccurrence. The vaccine targets a lactation protein called alpha lactobumin, which is expressed in the majority of triple negative breast cancers. If breast cancer develops, the vaccine is designed to prompt the immune system to attack the tumor and keep it from growing. The vaccine is administered in three doses given two weeks apart. While this initial trial will study women who have already been diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, the ultimate goal is to prevent the disease from developing in the first place. What we're trying to do is what we call primary prevention. It's actually preventing the disease from occurring to begin with. It was never there to begin with. We're not trying to prevent recurrence. We're trying to prevent the emergence of the tumor uh, and uh, prevent it from ever happening. The research team has been working on developing this vaccine for nearly 20 years. It could take 10 years or more before the vaccine is available to the general population and only if the results are favorable. The researchers hope, though, that one day their work will pave the way for a vaccine to prevent all forms of breast cancer. Until then, women with inflammatory breast cancer continue to be at a higher risk of dying from their cancer. New research published in the journal Cancer found that inflammatory breast cancer patients have a nearly 42% increased risk of their breast cancer spreading to their brain. Researchers say this highlights the need to monitor brain images of women with inflammatory breast cancer.